close. Love, the offspring of freedom and trust. Love is the offspring of freedom and trust. For love to gain momentum, for love to move, to nourish and nurture you, need freedom and trust. Freedom and trust are like two feet that are needed to walk, like two eyes to see, two ears to hear the whispers of the unknown, two hands to provide all that you can. Love is intelligence, love is understanding, love is beauty, love is awakening, love is awakening, love is ultimate. Once you have tasted the love I am speaking of, you need nothing else in life. Love keeps you alive, awake, fresh, overflowing and sharing inner harmony and beauty. Love is possible only when meditation has happened. Meditation is centering in the being. If you don't know how to be centered in your being, if you don't know how to rest and relax in your being, if you do not know how to be utterly alone and blissful, you will never know what love is. And when you do not know what love is, you will not feel, taste what love is. Love appears as a relationship but begins in deep solitude. Love expresses as relating, but the source of love is not in relating. The source of love is in meditating. When you are absolutely happy in your aloneness, when you do not need the other at all, when the other is not a need, only then you are capable of love. If the other is your need is still, you can only exploit, manipulate, dominate, but you cannot love. Love needs two things. It has to be rooted in freedom and it has to know the art of trust. If these two things are made available, your life immediately starts blossoming as if suddenly spring has come. You have become too accustomed to hot dogs. Passion is hot. But passion is not love. Passion is an effort to use the others for your own biological and sexual needs. A man who has renounced passion becomes cold, ice cold, almost dead. Love is just in between these two extremes, the hot dogs and cold scenes. In your restaurants, you should start selling hot dogs and cold scenes. They are like two extremes. Just between the two is the coolness of love. Love is neither cold nor hot. Instead, love is like cool breeze, a fresh breeze, an early morning breeze. When it comes to you, you feel almost young again, fresh again, as if suddenly you have taken a shower. Passion uses the other. That is why passion is a continual fight. Remember, so-called passionate lovers are both trying 
to use each other. Love does not use the other. It gives its own heart to the other. It is not a desire to get something, but a longing to share something. One is full of peace, silence, joy, and wants to share it with those who are close. They may be friends, they may be husbands, wives, children, father, mother, anybody for that matter. Love makes no distinction. Love makes no distinction. Love has an immense coolness about it, but very few people have attained to the coolness of love. Either they are hot and passionate, or when they become tired and bored with this heat, they turn to the opposite. They become an ice-cold saint, frozen. Mind has a way of moving like a pendulum from one extreme to the other. That is how the clock runs by the pendulum moving from one extreme to the other. If pendulum stops in the middle, it will be the coolness of love and clock will also stop. In the moments of cool love, you feel time has stopped, there is no movement, everything has stopped. It is so silent that there is not even a single ripple on the surface of your surface of the lake of your consciousness. Love is intelligence. Love is understanding. Love is beauty. Love is awakening. Love is the ultimate. Once you have tasted the love I am speaking of, you need nothing else in life. Love keeps you alive, awake, fresh, overflowing, sharing inner harmony and beauty. Love is a spring breeze, always fresh, always fragrant. You can see it when you compare it with the relationship between two lovers, the lover and the beloved. The relationship that you have known up to now is very fragile, every moment changing, unpredictable. No one can say what is going to happen tomorrow or even the next moment. This creates fear, the unpredictability, the unknown future naturally destroys relationship between lovers and creates something similar to father-mother, brother-sister marriage. Love is like a spring breeze. It comes when it comes. And when it comes, it brings with it tremendous fragrance and beauty, but it goes. When it comes, it gives you the feeling that it is going to remain forever. And the feeling is so strong that you cannot doubt it. There is no way to doubt it. Under that intense, doubtless certainty, both give promises, not knowing at all that it is the spring breeze. It comes when it comes, it goes when it goes. It is not within your hands. You cannot capture it in your fist. You can feel it when your palm is open, its coolness. But the moment your fist is closed, there is no breeze. There is no coolness and no fragrance either. Unless you become very calm and cool, 
you will not be able to understand it. You have known only the hot love. And remember the danger with hot love is that sooner or later it is going to become cool. Everything hot is bound to become cold sooner or later. And the final end is that it will become cold. It will freeze. You cannot prevent it. It is a natural process. So each hot love turns into hot heat. But you are so accustomed to hot either friendship or enmity, but it has to be hot. You are so insensitive that unless something is very hot, you cannot feel it. My love is cool. To understand it, you have, come, you have to come to the same temperature, same level of energy. Remember, Cool love is not only love, it is much more. Because of its coolness, it is meditation, it is silence, it is serenity, it is tranquility, it is centering. These are the various aspects of love. Meditativeness, silence, serenity, tranquility, centering and overflow. It is awakening, it is wisdom, it is intelligence, it is not a small phenomenon. Remember love is not a small phenomenon, that's why it is said. Jesus said, God is love, but I say, love is godly. It is not a small phenomenon. Feel it. I love you more than you can ever be loved in life. I love you more than you can ever be loved. Feel it within enough for now.